On this video, I'm going to be testing out the DJI Flight at 1.4.12 with the DJI Air 2S. After my previous video with DJI Mini 2, many of you actually did want to see this video. When we discovered that the compass wasn't working correctly, a great number of you wanted to test this drone and just see if it was the case for this one also. Not to mention, many of you have reported the same as me with the telemetry for the height showing incorrectly, namely a negative figure. And also a great number of you did actually wonder whether the compass not showing correctly would actually affect the return to home. Now, one thing to mention is the DJI Air 2S does actually have precision takeoff and landing. So what I'm keen to do is not give the drone that advantage because of course, if I take off and hover, it actually maps the terrain. So that will be a full test of the GPS and compass, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is when I take off, I'm going to literally spin the props and go straight forward into flight. So let's start the recording. And then spin the props and take off. So yeah, we're not going to let it hover on up the terrain. We're going to take off straight away and just go on this flight and just see exactly what happens. And the first thing you can notice within sort of seconds of taking off, that compass is obviously still showing the error and not doing what it's supposed to do on this drone. You can see it did initially show that it was in front of us, which of course wasn't the case. And now it's behind the indicator for the actual drone itself. So yeah, first and foremost, that is actually not working very well. But uh, anyway, we'll continue with the flight. And all I'm going to do is just dart around this big open field and just see if I can see whether it uh, the altitude is actually fixed. Now... It is quite intermittent, it's quite hard to do to get it to replicate it, but you know, the the best idea I think I can have is it usually happens when you gain altitude and uh, lower altitude quite quickly. Now, interesting that there seems to be quite a bit of jello in the uh, in the image, that's really not that good. But of course we do have a nice wide open space to be able to test this out, so yeah, it should be fun. It is quite a windy day today but nothing that the DJI Air 2S can't handle since it is about the best drone you can find in the wind. So let's take a flight over here then you can see there's some horses but at this height I'm not really bothering them. Um, yeah so it's a steady flight out and oh, there we go we're getting a nice little bit of lag that's really not uh, helpful or great um, I won't lie because that's been one of my issues with this drone. So spin around here then and just head back towards this direction and again a little uh, stutter there well, that wasn't really very good let's pop it into spot mode and then let's just zoom around and just see if I can get this uh, telemetry to to show accurately or test it one way or another so the best way to, to try and get that to happen is literally shoot up and down if I fly down now towards the ground you can see that that seems to be about right um, nothing wrong there, but let's try going up and just see what happens. So we're going to go all the way up really, really fast, this thing. So six meters per second ascent speed. And obviously we've got a beautiful den and really nice location for it. Now, obviously I want you to keep your eye on the height. Tell me what you think is around 120 meters, because that's what I'm going to get up to and just see what happens. So there you go, right, 120 meters. And this is one of the major issues, you know, as we come back down, will it start to show the negative? Um, this is usually when it does happen, when you've sort of been flying in sport mode um, or even normal, just generally coming down in height quite quickly. So there you go, we're at 35 metres, heading down. Take a little flight towards myself. Of course, it is banking quite a lot because we are in the wind. And as we're heading down, there we go. Absolute proof in the pudding that that is not fixed. You can see we still have that issue where it's showing minus 1.1 meters. But of course, at this stage, the drone's right in front of me, and I'm probably around sort of seven, eight, nine meters height. So let's go head out then. And one of the features that you guys asked me to test was that return to home function. So we don't need to be too far out, just get to near enough that 500 meters to make sure that it's a, a half decent test. Let's just spin it round then, and then we'll uh, go and execute that return to home. Beautiful weather. Right, so let's click the return to home then. 
and the drone is going to go up to the uh, return to home altitude. I think I've got that set at 81 meters, which of course it does very quickly, being the drone that it is. And like I said, we was uh, I was keen not to use the precision landing, so let's just see if it does make it home, given the fact that you know the compass isn't accurate. And like I said, this is one of the questions that you guys did actually want answering. So let's come in now and let's just see what happens. Also, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. Um, I did mention on the last video about the uh, DJI Mini 2 and the fact that you couldn't actually disable the front light before. Um, it seems I was actually incorrect on that one. So again, I do apologize for that. However, incidentally, it does seem that the uh, options to change the color and beating and all the rest of it for me anyway, and a couple of you have commented on that, doesn't seem to be actually working, um, so quite interesting. So we're getting just about overhead where we are then, and then the drone should start to actually descend. Of course, it does drop the gimbal down automatically, so we can hopefully keep uh, an eye on it. It has spun itself round, so we're heading down now, around 1.5 meters per second. And what I would expect is obviously we are much higher than 11 meters, but because that height is showing incorrectly, of course, as we get lower to the ground, you're going to see that dip into a minus, which isn't good. So there we go. Let's just flick to the uh, head cam and you can see the drone come down. Gimbal up to protect itself and it's coming down and down and down. There you go. You can see nearly minus four meters. And we've touched down at uh, minus 4.5 meters. And uh, yeah, incidentally, the compass uh, is faulty still on this drone. Um, the height isn't fixed either. But of course, the return to home does work absolutely fine, even though the compass is showing it incorrectly. So guys, that wraps up the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, give it a big thumbs up. It really is appreciated. See you again soon.